Hello and welcome to Adored TV. Today we're actually getting geared up and ready to do a benchmark test on the new Arctic Freezer 50 Threadripper. This one is an Arctic 50 that's been specially designed to go with the new Threadripper CPUs from AMD for the Socket STR40. And we haven't yet unboxed this yet, but we're going to be sticking it into our new test bench right here. This is running a 3960X, and we did all of our reviews on our website so far with this 24 core behemoth. And you can see right here, we actually got a very large cooler. It has a front and center fan, and it has a shroud here for the exhaust air. They have a nice little cover here with the direct heat pipes. There's eight that go across the base of this thing, so it should give us good thermal coverage. Looks like it sends us a little user manual card, QR code, so we can look that up. Thank you for choosing Arctic, 100% happy. And we have the usual compliments of the MX4 thermal paste and some brackets. So right now we actually have the Noctua U14 in this case. You haven't seen this case yet. We actually did the review in the Lian Li, uh, the O11 case. And this one we actually purchased. We probably will be doing a review on it. It's a Roswell case. So that we can actually fit this behemoth in there. Little sneak peek, look at that flex. Oh yeah. It's a rather cheap case. We actually picked it up for 50 bucks, about 55 bucks after tax, but you can see it actually fits this large cooler very well. But look at this one. It's basically two of these guys in one a little bit shorter, so it might have a little bit better case compatibility. So we're going to go ahead and tear this apart and get this thing socketed in. So let's go ahead and take this Noctua out of the case and replace it with the Arctic. So you'll want to prep the surface. We'll just wipe all of this off here. We'll finish it off with some isopropyl alcohol. So if you look at the manual from the QR code, you'll see that these mount on with this tab being on the inside here towards the CPU. Now because of the slight V design, this thing doesn't have a whole lot of clearance for RAM. We had to take our Sniper X RAM out of here and replace it with these Corsair Vengeance in order for this thing to actually fit. There's a latch right here, right here, to separate the fan, like so. If we just dry mount this right here, you'll see that there's no wiggle and play. It'll sit and clear our sticks of RAM just barely. So be sure you measure your RAM before you purchase this because there's not a whole lot of clearance. These are pretty low profile dims. We're going to use MX4. They sent a little balloon of MX4, but we'll use our syringe just so we can get a nice clean line. Now, if you want a guide of how big of a spot to make this, you can see the plastic gives you an idea of how much coverage this will have. So, right there. 
if we stick the plastic over here, you can see it's not quite gonna cover the whole CPU. So we need to get it from here to here, there, probably some dots. There should be more than enough. Fill in all these little cracks. I want to make sure that the fan blows out of the case. in our fan header and this is for the RGB we need to run this to a LED header on the motherboard and just like that we're ready to go and so there you go just like that we have it mounted inside of our case you can see we have plenty of room to actually close the lid. We have color getting in the addressable LED slots at the bottom. And we're ready to start testing once we get this burned in. So be sure to stay tuned. This is just kind of a teaser video to kind of show you how we got this mounted. And we'll be happy to show you the results once we get them available. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and check back at the website at adoredtv.com so you can see this review and the many others that we put onto the website. I'm Kirk and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.